Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 9th of 2021. Well, it is titled the total lunar eclipse corona. So what do we see here? Well, up in the upper left, we do see our moon. And if it looks a little bit strange, that's for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it is being eclipsed, meaning that it is moving into Earth's shadow. And that makes it look very different. Uh, it will generally look a deep blood red when it is in the shadow because our shadow is filled with red light as that is the light that is bent into the Earth's shadow by the Earth's atmosphere. So the only light that's striking it is redder and it will also not look evenly colored as it normally does it normally a full moon looks about the same coloration all across but here it will look uh, deeper red when it is and darker when it is closer in towards the center and parts further away from the central portions of the shadow will look brighter because more light is making it into those areas. So when the moon goes into the deepest part of Earth's shadow, it will look very dark and a very deep red. When it's at the edge of the shadow, it will look like it has a little bit more light there and you'll be able to see a distinct gradation along the moon as you go from the inner portion to the outer portion. Now it was also the full moon that occurred at the time of perigee and that is perigee is when an object orbiting Earth is closest to Earth in its elliptical orbit. So that means that the moon would look a little bit larger and a little brighter than normal. So a combination of a couple of things there and we would see the lunar eclipse. Now of course we also see in this image our Milky Way. So the first image of this uh, that was taken you could see the moon and our Milky Way. However to bring out all the details of our Milky Way we also added a couple of other images. So two other images of the Milky Way in order to bring out all the detail. It's very often done this way because it is very difficult if not impossible to get objects at varying different brightnesses to be able to see them on the same image. If you overexpose one get enough detail to be able to see something faint you will greatly overexpose the other object and if you over if you get the brighter object then you're not going to get enough light to see the fainter object. So sometimes multiple images are taken and then put together to give the real impact of what would be seen, although that means that the relative brightnesses, of course, are not the same. Now we also know of course that our Milky Way is way beyond our moon so the moon may me look small in this image but it is much much closer to us than the Milky Way way off in the distance beyond it. So that was our picture of the day for June the 9th of 2021. It was titled a total lunar eclipse corona. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.